Israel, widely referred to as the startup nation, has more companies listed on the tech-heavy Nasdaq stock exchange than any country other than the United States and China. President Barack Obama said in a speech in Jerusalem in 2013 that Israel's spirit has led to economic growth and human progress. Solar power and electric cars, and bandages and prosthetic limbs that save lives, stem cell research and new drugs that treat disease, cell phones and computer technology that, ch that change the way people around the world live. So if people want to see the future of the world economy, they should look at Tel Aviv, home to hundreds of startups and research centers. Israeli tech businesses have drawn steady growth in global investment from $2.95 billion across 571 deals in 2013 to $6.47 billion in 623 deals in 2018. Startups such as Waze and WhatsApp have become part of everyday life around the world. Intel, which along with Microsoft, Apple, and Hewlett-Packard does research and development in Israel, set a record in 2017 by paying $15.3 billion for Mobileye, a Jerusalem-based startup on the cutting edge of safety innovations for self-driving vehicles. How has Israel become so technologically advanced? If necessity is the proud mother of invention, in Israel she's feeding innovation with a diet rich in Israeli society, institutions, geography, and geology. For example, innovative responses to the country's limited water resources range from drip irrigation and drought-resistant produce to massive, highly efficient desalination plants that have enabled Israel to export surplus water. Frequent rocket attacks from Gaza and the threat of 100,000 Hezbollah missiles to the north have led Israel to become a world leader in missile defense systems, most notably Iron Dome, which has a 90% success rate. The Israel Defense Forces groomed tech talent for the private sector. The IDF Cyber Tech Unit, 8200, scouts Israelis with an aptitude in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics as early as high school. Founded in the 1950s to help Israel overcome its military manpower disadvantage, Unit 8200 provides elite training hands-on experience, and a strong network of tech pioneers. Veterans of Unit 8200 have founded and led some of Israel's most successful tech companies, including ICQ, Imperva, EasyChip, and Elbit. Education is also crucial. With the world's second highest number of citizens with four-year degrees per capita, Israel has the most scientists and engineers per capita, but still faces a perpetual shortage. In the high-tech industry, the more engineers there are, the bigger the shortage. Israeli tech entrepreneur Yehuda Zizapel says. Why? Because they start out by working and later found their own startups, which create more jobs. Like the United States in the 1960s, Israel is looking to outer space to inspire students to pursue science and engineering. Space IL, a nonprofit startup combining private American and Israeli donations with Israeli government funding, is working with defense contractor Israel Aerospace Industries to send an unmanned spacecraft to the moon in 2019. The craft will carry digital versions of the Israeli flag, national anthem, and declaration of independence, and will conduct experiments for the Wiseman Institute of Science. Israel's tech success could be an example for and a bridge to its neighbors as Obama said in 2013. One of the great ironies of what's happening in the broader region is that so much of what people are yearning for, education, entrepreneurship, the ability to start a business without paying a bribe, the ability to connect to the global economy, those are things that can be found here in Israel. This should be a hub for thriving regional trade and an engine for opportunity. <laughs> Israel's already a center for innovation that helps power the global economy. See the following links for more information.